Yeah, they're pretty expensive at Borders. Oh, and it's about, uh, you in here, Russell Stroy? Of course you do, Brandon. <laughs> and we're actually talking to Brandon right now on uh, the camera. So, uh, actually, hey, put the camera up to him and say, have Brandon say hi. Okay, we're gonna send, I'm going to put the camera up to the uh, phone up to the camera and say hi, Brandon. Are you ready? Right now. We don't hear you, Brandon. I don't hear Brandon. I think he left. No, he's right. Ask him. Hey, Brandon, what's up? He's still there, right? Okay, he's still there. Okay. How did he say hi? He did say hi, yes. Okay. Uh, so the story is, is basically we were playing boats at, uh, it was me, Russell, and uh, old man old, Jeff. Old man Jeff. And uh, Russell was playing his delusion, and I was playing my Celtic Fury. It was pretty cool. I had this one guy, it was a French guy, makes you go through terrain, but that's not the point. Uh, Russell just split my, uh, blew all the cells off my Celtic Fury and dragged me home and then used O'Brien as a sex slave. That was horrible. And he kept, uh, Elfantismo had his way with uh, O'Brien. No, uh, Elfantismo had to leave. Had to leave. <laughs> so it was horrible. So Russell, of course, uh, captured, and then he also captured uh, the Ghost Walker, oh, uh, Ghost Walker? Yeah. Ghost Walker. Ghost Walker of, uh. My personal favorite is the Santa Ana. And uh, then after that, there's this one peaceful ship of mine, you know, the Santa Ana. It's just, it's six gold, and it's really peaceful, it's just a bunch of monks, you know, a bunch of Spanish monks on there. Then he had, of course, had to capture that and then rape all the monks, so it's really horrible. It was, it's like a, one of those perverted D&D &D games you guys play, with Robbie and raping Robbie and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I pretty much captured most of the ships on the table. So are you, and you know what, uh, also we Tell got... Tell this is your fault, too. This is all your fault, because you weren't there. No, this is his fault for bringing up the capture rule. <laughs> and also for voting for the capture rule. No, you had to do the capture, didn't you? The capture rule. And you know who's the one who profits from the most? Russell. Great idea. <laughs> the one who voted against it. The one who voted against it. I did too, but no one listens to me. Shut up, Michael. Shut up, Michael. Uh, and not only don't you, uh, not only that, we got a free cake. Tell me, aren't you proud that Russ exploits your rule better than you do? <laughs> aren't you proud that Russell exploits his rules better than you do? That's it, that real. <laughs> so, <laughs> and uh, so we also got a free cake too. Tell him Monday, do you want to just give Robbie 100 points and everyone else goes against Robbie? Oh, here's the idea. Uh, for Monday, that's, uh, you team up with uh, me, I guess. And then Jose teams up with who? You? Robbie. Robbie? Oh, I thought Robbie was supposed to be by himself. Robbie still has to piss off Jose. Oh, okay. We'll do that then. Okay, so. But I don't <laughs> mind playing 100 points against Robbie. <laughs> this is whatever works. That's cool. So are you excited for... Uh, are you, are you excited that I, I, I broke Robbie's dreams of, ca of capturing that, uh... Yeah, the Russell captured the Celtic Fury first, so you guys can't be the first anymore. He broke, popped the cherry. Also sunk the, uh, Flying Dutchman, remember that? That was so awesome. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we missed the cake. It was a really big cake, too. And we were so excited, and you missed the cake, too. Because um, the family was having this huge birthday party, and they're like, Hey, guys, want a cake? And then we said yes, and then, uh... Jeff uh, said, no, I can't have any because I'm diabetic. And then uh, Jeff goes, he did the little violin song, you know, he's like, I can't have cake because I'm diabetic and I'm going to die. And they're like, yeah, shut up, Jeff, you old bastard. And, <laughs> and then and then Russell took uh, some whipped cream and then ate it, and he goes, oh, I love whipped cream. And then a cat's now jumping on Russell, and Russell's in pain. <laughs> and stuff like that. So you missed a great night. Uh, all because it's your fault for not having money. <laughs> so for rubbing it into you. Take Tom, that's what you get that. for giving it all to David. That's what you get for giving it to your, uh, your friend David. Who's a... For his birthday. For his birthday. Oh, drunk. yeah, you, that's good. How was David's birthday party? You didn't want to go? <laughs> okay. So here's Russell. <laughs>